Hello friends and family, my name is Daniel Burrell and welcome to Storytime. Storytime! Uh, this is not a series, <laughs> it's actually more so a diary of Schmooby Dan. I just really wanted to tell this story and I haven't done a video in a while so I thought it, this would be a really good opportunity to do this. I actually typed it out because I wanted to make sure that I got everything right and that it was all good. So, um, I don't know if you know this, but I got laser eye surgery when I was about 18, like 18-ish. I had really bad vision and it was affecting me a lot in sports because I was snowboarding and biking and I couldn't really wear contacts all the time and it was just a really big pain in the ass so I thought that that would be the best option. I'd like to point out too that I'm really happy with my laser eye surgery and I'm not in any way doing this video to bash it. I just thought that this was a really funny story because they didn't seem to tell me everything before they commenced. <laughs> um, I always hear testimonies on the radio about laser eye surgery and they always say it's so quick and easy and cheap. Well, it's not cheap. It is it is really quick actually, but it's not cheap <laughs> or um, easy <laughs> really. It was uh, quite terrifying if I really want to be brutally honest. So uh, here's a couple things they don't tell you that will happen when you get laser eye surgery done. Uh, you lose vision in each eye for about 10 to 15 seconds while they're working on the eye. They only do one eye at a time and it only takes about 18 seconds per eye, but you'll lose vision and they didn't warn me about that and it scared the crap out of me because I was like oh god what the hell is going on and they must have realized that I was kind of freaking out because they said it's normal if you lose vision like oh thanks for fucking telling me now because that would have been great to know before I started <laughs> um, so, also, I don't know if this was normal, but the people who did my laser eye surgery must have thought they were really funny because they gave me a stress ball to hold on to, but the stress ball was an eye, which made me a little squeamish, it made me a little uncomfortable, but once they suction cupped my eye open and started. I was like, I don't care if this is nice. <laughs> I did not think about that at all. <laughs> um, another thing, you have horrible vision for a couple hours afterwards. Like really, these were huge oversights for this place because they didn't tell me any of this. Uh, I found out that this is normal. Your eyes have to readjust and heal, so you have terrible vision for a little while. Then you have to wear specialized sunglasses when you leave because you can't have sunlight in your eyes and all that business. You're also not supposed to watch TV for a while afterwards. I don't remember how long it was, but I think I sat on the chair for a couple days afterwards with a blanket over my over my face listening to Seinfeld on the TV. For the record, Seinfeld is still hilarious if you can't see. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is... Um, I'll actually save this one for last. I'm really excited about that one. Uh, you will not have great night vision. This is like a legitimate problem that I actually had with it. They never really told me about this. And I have really terrible night vision. Like, I wasn't expecting to see, like, a cat in the dark and know what's going on. But even, like, I have the light above me right now. And it's kind of messing with my vision. And if it's dark at all, I can't. I, I can barely drive in the dark. It's, a, it's an actual problem for me. I've gone to the optometrist about it. 
and they'd say, I'm fine, like, I can't do anything about it, I can't wear glasses because my eyes are twenty twenty. so, whatever, <laughs> uh, back to funny stuff, okay, this is 100% true, you can look it up because this is 100% true, you might not believe me, but you can smell your eyes burning. I don't want that to put anyone off of getting laser eye surgery because it's only for like five seconds that you can smell it. And really, I don't know if it's actually burning. I've heard that it's a chemical reaction that happens with the laser, but a chemical reaction that sounds, that happens with a laser sounds like something is burning. It, it, does that not sound like it to you? I don't know. I'm not actually convinced that my eyeballs weren't burning. <laughs> and yeah, you can smell it. It smells suspiciously like burnt toast, actually. It's, it's a little, uh, it's a little disconcerting. It's, <laughs> it's a little gross. <laughs> um, yeah, really though, I don't want to make this video sound like I have a problem with laser eye surgery because I really love it and I still have 20-20 vision and it's been like seven years since I got it and I have 20-20 vision. I have to wear sunglasses a lot more than I used to now and I have a little bit of issues in our in our office where I work actually because the lights are so bright but Lindsay and I play video games, I still read, and it doesn't bother my eyes at all, so, yeah, don't, don't let my silly issues that I had stop you from getting laser eye surgery. It's an amazing choice, and I'm not gonna say where I got mine done, just, just because I don't want to throw it out there and then have them be like, oh god, we, we didn't, we did tell you that and then have me getting shit because of it. Um, so, sorry. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I have lots more stories if you want to hear them. <laughs> I have a billion stories. If you would like to, if you would like me to do more stories, then feel free to tell me. I really love telling my stories because they're ridiculous and I, I think they're pretty funny. And yeah, so thanks for watching guys and have a great day. See you later.